The sign on the roof reads 1880, though given that some of the beams were held together by pegs, the Firestone Barn on Route 14 in Columbiana may be even older. Whatever the age, the old barn now looks like new and is almost ready for weddings and banquets. The tables and chairs today were set up, surrounded by the weathered beams where hay and grain were once stored. The barn at Firestone Farms in Columbiana was almost ready for business. We're really happy with how everything came together. Jeremy Makel, whose family owns Firestone Farms across the street, guided me through the venue. The second floor, which seats 250, has a chandelier custom made by the maintenance workers at the East Fairfield Stone Company, which the Makels also own. The first floor, called the Stone Room, will seat 100. We also did an addition on the back. Uh, because we didn't want to use any of the barn for restrooms or kitchen. So we, we built an addition to, to put some of those things. We also have a third floor bridal suite. From the first floor, two garage doors open onto a patio overlooking a pond and fountain that was set up to accommodate wedding ceremonies. This becomes the aisle. And then if you go straight out, it's lined right up with the fountain. So they would be standing out here. And then with pictures in the background, you got the fountain. There are pictures throughout from when it was Harvey Firestone's farm. These are both Harvey on a tractor. Here's the barn in the background before the corner of routes 7 and 14 was developed. When the Makels bought the barn, there were holes in the roof and some beams were starting to decay. Construction began in February. We kind of felt like if we didn't do something now, it was going to it was going to fall down and it was it's too nice of a structure to let it go to waste. The first event at the barn at Firestone Farms is scheduled for late May, a wedding. A total of 26 events have already been scheduled for next year.